What's up guys and welcome back to another service Saturday. My name is Potato and we're going to be kicking it off by visiting a pretty sweet stadium. I am super happy that uh, people are getting around to actually finishing up their super big builds. It seems like we have one every single week now and I'm stoked about it. I'm very glad to see it. And um, this place is no different. This place is huge. It's massive. And uh, I just realized that my sounds were off when I realized I couldn't hear anything I was doing beforehand. So uh, we did the flyby in vanilla because he made a little note here. Um, that the faces were done in the default texture pack. Now I'm just going to do a quick time day. That way we have plenty of daylight. It looks a little cloudy out. We're using John Smith right now. And um, I don't think that texture packs can change clouds like this. The texture of the sky. Um, so I don't know. Maybe it's just because of the morning. I, I don't really know. Maybe it's just the way John Smith is working. Um, John Smith legacy anyways. So, uh, yeah, I'm definitely glad that we did the flyby and default texture pack as the planks do not provide a very good skin color for, uh, for most of these people's faces. However, I do like the wool. The wool is nice. Anyways, let's, uh, let's get on in this, uh, this arena. What do these signs say? Need more wool? Go to Warp Wool Farm. 56 slots and faces and stuff like that. Oh, there you go. He left, uh, a bunch of, um, wool and stuff for people to make their own faces. So it does look like there's a bunch more slots on the back, so uh, so people can go and do that. Uh, there was a little slot there for my face, but to be honest, I, I don't think I've oh, excuse me, I've ever done my own face um, in uh, I don't know uh, pixel art format. I don't I don't really know. So uh, Hall of Fame, okay. Um, is there a s do I flip it? Whoa! Oh whoa! Okay, all right. So, that was kind of scary. Um, did not see that there, so this will be interesting. Oh, we don't really have much of a Hall of Fame yet. Name here, and place head here. Interesting. We do not have a plug-in for people's heads and stuff, so... That's, uh... Maybe something that we should pick up. Now that we have an arena, I really wish, um... Well, we don't provide an arena a server um made arena we just do the spawn and we let everybody else do the do the rest so um i'm maybe maybe i don't know maybe we'll we'll make this the official team mongoose not team mongoose mongoose country arena it is pretty big it's square which makes world editing off this area as a pvp area very easy which uh, i'm always a big fan of apparently you can select circles and cylinders with world edit but come on it's just way easier to work with squares so uh maybe i'll talk to waking danny i'm sure he's okay with uh with making this the arena it's definitely big enough we can change the course to whatever we want it to be and who knows maybe we'll have some uh some mongoose country games in the future which would be uh definitely definitely cool i'd uh I'd definitely be down for that okay let's get a move on this place is not going to explore itself to check up top what's in this little window in case of fire, break glass. Oh, that's neat. Has little safety precautions, probably around the arena. Uh, looks like we have maybe another one over here. Yeah, in case of fire, break glass. Pretty cool. Haven't uh, haven't seen uh, water buckets used that way. You are here. Oh, so that's what the little arrows are when you make the map. Or maybe when you place it in the, the frame. It freezes your character there? I don't know. We have uh, the man... I, WC? 
wash wash closet. Probably wash closet or wash cloth wash cloth. Oh whoa! Okay, that was that was a mistake. I usually have my sword in my number three slot here and instinctively I pressed it and um, well you could see we, we went quite a while out so let's just get back in there and introduce this man to our pick oh that's right my pick has knockback 500 on it um, because I like watching them fly across the room and stuff I just wish that when they hit the walls um, they would die you know like getting thrown into a wall or something you know I have a couple of hand dryers here. It's pretty neat. Get rid of those out of our toolbar. And he's using um, quartz. Yeah, quartz. I want to say marble because it looks like marble, but it's quartz. Um, which on the John Smith texture pack looks pretty sweet. Not bad. He has a little toilet. <laughs> he has toilet paper. That's cool. I like that. Little, uh, little, little um, details and stuff. We have a mirror here. Unfortunately, it looks like I can't see into the women's bathroom. Um, not that I would want to watch women go to the bathroom. I, I, I don't see the 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 appeal of that. Um, although I do like the oversized squares uh, of the wool here. Instead of making it just the individual individual squares, he um, he made it a two by two, which is which is cool. It works in this texture pack. I like it. Their place seems a little bit nicer too. Is there is there counter bigger? Not really no. No, our counter is the same size. Um, but I don't know how much I would trust a a bat. Well, maybe it's supposed to be tile. Maybe that's what it is. It's tile, not carpet. I was about to say I don't trust a bathroom that has carpet in it because that that's gonna get grody after a while. No, nobody wants to go in that bathroom. Okay, so we have a VIP area up here. I'm just gonna walk up here. We don't really have a VIP pass or anything like that. I like the chandeliers. That's cool. Um, got flowers? Yeah, the VIP place is already nicer. What's up here? Hello? Oh, cool, they're like sweets. Not bad. You use snow here as a, a little rug. That's pretty cool. It kind of sucks that there's a giant pillar right here, though. But uh, I guess this would not be the suite that you pay a lot of money for. Just as a... Uh, Okay, my uh, my alarm went off. Uh, I, my sleep schedule is really messed up, and it's 7.30 in the morning right now. So, um, whatever. It's time for service at 7.30 a.m. on a Saturday, which um, I know a lot of you are probably going to mention, but it's Sunday where I live, and I, I wish there was a time. Maybe there is a time. I don't know. Is there a time slot where I can upload service Saturday and it always be Saturday? I would assume that it would probably be super late at night. So, um... Probably not the most ideal time to upload a video, um, but that's sort of how my entire week has been. You can always tell when my sleep schedule is messed up, when my uploads are like at 10 p.m. for people that, you know, on the west coast of, of uh, the USA, um, negative 8 PST. There's nothing in the flower pots. It makes me wonder if, someone, if there was and someone took like the flower. Can you put torches in them? No, you can't. That'd be kind of cool, right? Put a torch to shove it into a flower pot. I guess it really wouldn't be a flower pot. It'd be a torch pot at that at that point. But yeah, it's it's probably there's probably some reason that you can't do that. But I like these little hangout rooms. It's cool. Oh, is there a sit and eat area? Okay, I was gonna say, is there a name for this place? We have the judge area, which is uh, where I assume uh, Danny would be sitting. Up here, judging his uh, his combatants, is a big old chair right here, fit for a king, um, where you can look down at the entire arena. I'm really surprised that the render distance also goes all the way down. I doubt if there was a person way down there though that you'd be able to see him, um, because player draw distance isn't as far. I don't believe. Let's do uh, let's spawn a mob over there, maybe a pig. Yeah, we can't see it. Um, Let's try a little bit closer. No? Okay. A little bit closer. Oh, man. Either they're going... There we go. There's a pig. Okay, so they are spawning on the ground. Man, that draw distance is just killer in Minecraft. Um, but still, for looks, this is a cool place to keep it. Uh, we have a couple of guard posts here, so I guess they stand on these little black squares. And they, uh, they watch over the guy that... Uh, I don't, I, I, I don't want to say king. 
I mean, it's kind of like a throne or whatever, and this is, you know, an arena and stuff. But I don't want to say a king. It could be whatever. Just the, the head honcho. He's, he's up there. Got all the seats for probably his advisors and, and other higher-ups and stuff. And we have more stairs that go up. What's higher than this? We probably saw those stairs over there, too. We probably just missed them. Oh no, these are the VIP areas. Okay, alright, these are the suites. That makes sense. Uh, I don't know what else I was thinking, because I don't think you'd want to... Oh no, oh no! I broke his painting! Oh, he's gonna hate me for this. Danny, I'm sorry, I was trying to just use my compass. The oh, wow, okay, hey, no, nothing happened. Danny, nothing happened, let's just get out of here. Get down, down on the floor. I didn't do anything. Okay, so we need uh, to find more little stores and stuff around here. Are these just bathrooms? Is this just a bathroom level? It must be the bathroom level. We got, yeah, store, um, not store, iron doors. That's the word I was looking for. Iron doors on the other side. Let's check out these statues while we're down here. Nope, nothing over here, just giant flags. Is that a creeper? Nope, it's a little cross. All right. Okay, so we have a couple of really big dudes here. Is there signs? There are signs. Nice. Why are they blinking? Some sort of witchcraft. Statues of uh, Retarius, champion of the arena. Weapon, trident, and net. Uh, weapon, pointed sword and shield. Statue of Toric, strong as a bull. And um, I think that uh, in Gladiator... The main guy, like the the first, like, um, uh, like uh, I don't know what to call him. Con uh, con uh, I guess just gladiator, yeah. The first bigger, higher up gladiator dude. He had a, a trident and a and a net, yeah. Um, I really like how you were able to get him to look like they were sitting on their knees or kneeling, I guess, kneeling on their knees. And the beard, it's freaking awesome. And the trident, this is honestly a really good job at um making them look human you know i mean obviously <laughs> that's about as good as you're gonna get with the face but heck i mean that's a lot of detail i mean i think that their head would be a little bit bigger than that but it's minecraft so whatever and i guess that these little flaps there are supposed to be the part of their helmet that that goes down over their face to protect their face love the shield and the sword is cool that was a really good idea with the sword, too. It's, uh, it's pretty awesome, Danny. I like it. Alright, so, what's, uh, is there anything behind the pillars? Nope, there's zombies, though. Hello? Zombies? Nope. Oh, he's below us. Well, hey there, buddy! How about you, um, you get down from here? There you go. Um, oh, wow, look at all these things. That's the bad thing about having a big, um, a big build. What are you gonna do with all the empty space? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta fill it up. I think Danny's doing a great job so far with the, the, uh, the empty space. But I mean, what are you gonna do with the inside? You know. Uh, throw a gold nugget and wish something good to the gods of the arena. Uh, I don't have one, but let's let's get one. Gold nugget one. All right. So, um, I. I wish to check out the rest of the arena. Boop. Maybe, maybe it's supposed to go in. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. No. Come on, you're killing me here. Ah. There you go. No, nothing. Okay. Well, well, let's uh, let's maybe get ten. Woo! I've seen these wishing well things before. You know, sometimes people like to hide hoppers in them. Whatever. I threw a couple of gold nuggets in there. That that you could you could take those, Danny, if if they're still on when you log on. Uh, was that eleven? You can make one gold bar out of that. That's uh that's that's good money. Gold bars, a lot of a lot of future in gold bars. So um, I don't. Is that really it? That that can't be it. Come on. Is there like little stores or something that I'm missing? Or maybe it's just straight up an arena. You know, maybe he's not trying to faff about, and he's just keeping it in arena. Uh, let's go check out these other guys over here. What is this? You are here. Nice. Okay, who are these fellas? 
A statue of Colossus with his enemy's head. Weapon, giant axe. Oh man, is he stepping on the dude's head? Oh no, the dude's head is just on the ground. I like how you were able to get like, well, I mean, the way I see this is like the little mohawk that's on top of the helmet. And that's his helmet right there, and the dude's head. Um, I don't really understand the the hat really, but you know, that's that's kind of hard to to try to figure out. And he has a red one. That's cool. And this dude has like a little plate up there. What is that? A satellite dish? Statue of Sun Pike. Champion of the arena. Weapon longsword. Where's his longsword at? Is it behind him? Oh, okay. Let's just uh, fly up here real quick. Alright, so that's his... Man, that is a big sword. That's as big as him. These guys are already pretty big, but... I mean... Even if I had a six foot sword... I'm 6'1", six, six foot sword, that's that's as tall as me. I, I probably couldn't move it around. It's way too big. Um, what does this one say? Same thing? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, same thing. Looks like we have a couple of pigs. Uh, that I, Well, I, I guess I spawned those pigs. And um, some zombies and stuff over here. We have shadows too on the ground from the really cool ceiling. Which looks even better at night because you can't really see the glass, you just see the ice. Um, but if we do a time day, pew, we still see the ice, but, um, man, that, that just looks cool. So let's, uh, let's get rid of these guys. We'll do a butcher 75. It's a pretty big area. And, um, see how this emergency water system works. I don't really know how to get down into here. Let's, uh, let's try to find our way in before we start pressing buttons. Boat storage. Okay. Start flying here. Oh, okay. Well, this isn't the front. This is a side. So I guess this would be the uh, the gladiators entrance, I guess, because it's like on the arena floor. So what is this? Water tunnels. Okay. And armory. Okay. All right. Now we're now we're making some. Uh, some waves here. Please lock the system after you use it. Please lock the system after you use it. Oh, so people can't steal your gear. Okay, so that one was used. Okay, let's let's take off our gear here and see what he provides. All right. So we're gonna lock it. So we got a bow and um, an iron sword and leather armor. Not bad. Did we only get one arrow? Or no, that was the arrow I found. Um, arrows. Well, there you go. Here, I'll give you one. And uh, ender pearls, not bad. Food. This is very cool. You you definitely have thought about this. Let's um, let's take off our armor. We'll put it back for him. That way we don't um. We don't use up all of his stuff. I mean, I know we only took one set, but even still. Uh, if people come here and fight, I want them to be able to uh, do it as much as possible. So did somebody... Nobody took any from this one. So let's unlock it. There you go. That way people can actually um, come back here and use that one. Because there's no reason for it to be locked. Uh, Ender pearls. Arrows and food. Okay. And what's this? Up, unlock, down, lock. So, unlock. Here's a zombie. Bunch of people all around here. I, I think those are the ones that are above us, actually. So it looks like this side is the same. I'm just gonna unlock those. I'm glad you put ender chest here too. Hey, piggy. This was a full automatic pacing gate that worked in 151. And now the design's broken, so the gate is useless. Oh, that sucks. So wait, so if we unlock it, press this button. Oh, it's just completely broken now. Hmm. Well, um, if you ever catch Lime Studios on um, online, he's a, he's a wizard with the redstone. So uh, ask him about it, and he can uh, he can help you out. So. Now that we've seen all that, let's check out the water. 
No? Okay. Oh, boats. Okay. Oh, oh, how do we get the water to work? Okay, so this is boat storage. I guess, um, boats would be here, I, I, I guess. I don't know. Um, maybe it's at the end of the hall. We'll go to the end of the hall. Check for a lever. No lever. Okay. Let's check the other side, maybe. I'm sure there's a button somewhere. Oh, is it in here? I see glass. Whoop. This is it. How do we get in here? Oh, is it a secret? Oh, hello. Oh, it was on this side. Is there one on this side? Because I came up the right side. There was. Oh, man. I just didn't look hard enough. Okay, so we're into the control arena or area. We're the arena control area. How about that? Okay, so we have a piston floor, up, naval bow, and arrow battle, down, sword fight. Oh, man. Information for me. This was supposed to be a multifunctional arena, but I had to study for my exam, so I'm sorry I did not have the time to finish all the games that I wanted to put here, like Mob Sleep, Mob uh, Arena, and stuff. So I decided to just make a water arena. Sorry, all important. Please make this area a PvP area. Okay, it's cool. So I'll, I'll do that after uh, I'm done filming. Water tunnels. Press one time to open the channels. Press again to close. Okay, so I think we press this up once. Or we, we turn we turn it up. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. That's that's a little laggy. But I guess when you're dealing with this massive amount of water, we'll come up here and watch what's going on. Look at that. Look at all the water coming in. Oh wow. That really um Wow, that's that's impressive. This is a little bit more server intensive than I would have liked. Right, my alarm went off again. I know, I get it. I'm supposed to be up. I'm up already though. Um, but yeah, this is. I mean, I guess that wasn't too bad, but I just don't want someone to come in here and like do it over and over and um, lag out the server, you know. But okay, so we have water in the arena, so we need to turn on the tunnels. So if you press this, the tunnel should turn on. Look at that, all the tunnels turned on. And then the water goes to the edge. Oh, that's perfect. So if we go back to our tunnel, which is the first one over here. And um, we get, does this right click the boat out? Look at that, we did it wrong. We had to wait for it to be, uh, to go. All right. And then, um, and then I guess we set off. Holy crap. Oh, that is cool. Very, very awesome. I'm about to kick this up. Oh, well, my boat broke. That'll be uh, that'll be better once we're on 1.6, which should be fairly soon. We don't really. I don't want to put a time frame on it just yet, mainly because um, the biggest plugin that I'm worried about breaking right now is Citizens. Uh, it hates being uploaded. Oh, we got to turn these uh, these tunnels off, don't we? Um, it seems like every time we change to a new um, new version of Minecraft, even with the updates like the 152 and 151 stuff, it, it likes to break. And I just hate hate taking the time to fix it every time it breaks. We need a new system or just someone who understands the plugin enough to where they can fix it within like a, a couple of hours. And here we go, all the pistons, you can see them through the floor. See, water is just so laggy in itself. The nature of water in Minecraft. Um, almost uh, almost every server will have a crash or two related to just strictly too much water. So, um, anyways, we, we, should, we could probably could get that gate working for you again. You'd probably just use like some double piston extenders or something. But anyways, guys. Um, that's gonna do it for this service Saturday. I mean, this is a huge place and everybody um, on Goose Country should come and check this out. I think the warp is MC Arena. It is Warp MC Arena. So Mongoose Country Arena, MC Arena. If you're not part of the server, you should definitely, definitely come on. Maybe even think about um, 
the buy-in, which will be a link down below to come on and join the awesomeness that is Mongoose Country. And, um, well, you know what? This arena was cool. I like this arena a lot. But how about we go check out one more thing? One real quick little project. So we're on over at Orin X's little build here called Magic Piggy. And um, he just built this small little, well, I guess it's relatively small. It's up in the air, but it's a relatively small little uh, island here. And um, he has a couple of signs that say, Just imagine a bunch of pigs running around that kept killing each other or committing suicide. Not a good sign. So how about we get, how about we do this? We'll do spawn mob pig and we'll do 10 and then they should all spread out and there you go there's a bunch of new pigs for you right there Oren um, and the pig island is now complete so how about we just get rid of these signs here we go we'll just take them off just imagine a bunch of pigs okay there we go and we'll go pigs restored P. he'll probably watch this anyway so he'll know what's going on we should put on our, our leather tunic again so we have this big old pig face here. Sacrifice cooked bacon to the pig god. Well, I don't have. So let's do this. There you go. And he opens his mouth, his lovely mouth. And um, oh, and uh, he closed his mouth. Okay, that's a little scary. It looks like we have a club over here. Club bacon, magic bacon spawner. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, okay, right, let's turn that off. Very glad you have an off switch to that. We have almost a full stack. Really close to almost a full stack of bacon here. Um, maybe we could put it back in there. I think that's... Is that where it goes? I don't know. Oh, what? I heard a piston move. Anyways, we have... Uh, we put the bacon over there. And uh, here's a bunch of furnaces that cook it as well. What is this? Don't want to know what this was originally used for. Oh, okay. I guess that's just a, a an exit out. I guess. Um, what is this? what are these signs? Welcome to the bacon bar. All bacon all the time. Everyone needs a place to enjoy their bacon. That is true. Everybody needs a secluded, exclusive place to enjoy their bacon. It's not so much a bar if it's not a bar, right? Or is the definition of bar different than what I think it is? Every time I hear bar, I think of a, a bar, where you know where they serve drinks and stuff, but. Maybe like a maybe like uh, like uh, bacon hangout hangout or something, a bacon pub. Or, uh, does a pub include a bar too? I don't know. Whatever. This is a place to enjoy some bacon, all by your lonesome, uh, or with friends. Bring friends. You should bring friends. It's War Piggy, I believe. Is it War Piggy? Uh, War Piggy. Yes, War Piggy. So uh, there's no way out though. Uh, <laughs> well. I say that, but there's definitely a way out, right here. I'll take you all the way down um, to the ocean, uh, which I'm happy about because these ocean biomes, no one ever builds anything in them. Um, a few people that do, usually islands and stuff, which is, I think is a good place to put it because I know a lot of people don't want a big old island over their build and, and uh, all that junk. So putting it in the ocean is a good idea. Uh, anyways, guys, I'm gonna go. If you guys like this service Saturday, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I do appreciate it. It makes my Saturday that much better. And um, I hope you all have a lovely weekend.